Hey everyone, welcome back to Quant Prof. Today we are going to solve a problem asked in a Citadel interview. Don't forget to check the description for more Quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. There are six players numbered from one through six. Player one rolls a die. If player one rolls a one, he wins and the game ends. If player one rolls any other number, the die is passed to the player corresponding to the rolled number and the game continues with that player rolling. The game ends when a player rolls their own number. Calculate the probability that player one wins the game. The problem is simple, so you should be able to solve it in three to five minutes. Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. Let's look at the solution. Let's call the player who has the die as the green player and the other players as red players. Let the probability that the green player wins the game be P. What is the probability that one of the red players wins the game? It is one minus P over five due to symmetry. Now let's analyze the game. Initially, player one is the green player. Let's see what happens at the first die roll. If he rolls a one, he wins. The probability of this is one over six. If he doesn't roll a one, he becomes a red player and has a one minus P over five chance of winning. So using the law of total probability, we have the following equation. The first term corresponds to the case where player one rolls a one on his first roll. The second term corresponds to the case where he doesn't roll a one on the first roll and becomes a red player. Solving this equation, we get P is two over seven, which is our answer. The problem used the concepts of symmetry and recursion. How can you identify symmetry? I usually ask myself if there's any symmetry in the problem as soon as I read it. It only takes about 10 seconds to determine if symmetry is present, and it's a worthwhile return on investment. How to spot recursion. There are many methods depending on the problem. For the current problem, the best approach is to examine what happens at the first step and see if you can create an equation that connects the resulting states. We hope you liked the video. If you are serious about excelling at quant interviews, we invite you to check out our course, Quant Interview Masterclass, where we cover the entire theory with a focus on how to come up with correct solution approaches. We also cover 1,000 plus high quality quant interview problems from recent quant interviews. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Until then, Godspeed.